Introducing your next lucky t-shirt. Courtesy of Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price, every day. I was just following up on something that, that he just said uh, that felt like that y'all could even be a better secondary this year than you were last year. You're number four in the country in pass defense, and you lose a uh, third round pick and a four year starter. So, how do you get better? Well, you know, first of all, we got more pieces, and I think we have, by having more depth, uh, we have more things that we can move around. And we have some great talent back there, obviously with Watts and, and Donovan and Justin Evans. And now we got Nick Harvey and some of those other young guys who are coming along really nice. And so now we're just competing to see how can we get our best five or six DBs out there when the package calls for it. How has Nick Harvey uh, I, you know, I thought Nick played well last year. I thought he was a very unsung hero. You know, he split the game with B-Will, and they played, I mean, like three plays. One of them played 450 plays. The other one played 447. So Nick had a solid season last year, and I just think you see a kid who continues to mature. Uh, he's played a lot of football for us, played a lot of special teams as a freshman. And so now he's comfortable in everything we do. And so the adjustments are a lot easier. And having one corner who you've got a lot of confidence in, that kind of shores it up where you can just look for the other side. How's the battle going on the other side? Oh, it's been a good battle. You know, in training camp, when you got more players, you know, you get out there and you get the best out of everybody. And so the competition's been good. We've been rotating every day. Everybody's been getting quality reps, and we just continue to evaluate them. And then we probably won't, you know, make a decision. We want to play four corners going into the game versus UCLA. So hopefully, you know, about 10 days out, we can make that decision. Nick mentioned that depth you guys have. Is there one guy in particular you feel like is really flying under the radar, somebody who's really impressed you this fall? Believe it or not, it's been some guys who've been here for a while. You know, I, I think Caesar and Noel Ellis have really had a, a great camp up until this point, and they've been playing a nickel back. So again, that gives us some depth behind Donovan and Dominant. Donovan is so dynamic, it gives us some options to be able to move him around at safety, uh, at dime, and some different other spots. Is Donovan working at all at corner right now? Yes, he is. But, you know, like I told him, he's working at corner to make him a better nickel. You know, you get yourself in one-on-one -on -one situations out there, so that's going to help our blitz package that where we can improve our pass coverage in the inside. I thought one thing when you quality control last season, our inside pass coverage was something that needs some work. So all of those guys, Donovan, Noel, and Alex, all play a little bit of corner just to help on their technique to get them to feel like they're on the island a little bit. Anything else? Any update on Justin Dunning? Not yet. So hopefully here in the next day or so um, we'll find out. But he was having a great camp. Um, you know, love for him to be in the mix, and he can do a lot of different things for us. And again, that's another kid who gives us more options. Big Evans is going to be one of those guys, second year, coming from Juco, where he's going to take an even bigger step. Yeah, you know, I think the sky's the limit with him. You know, obviously, Armani had great stats last year, and I think uh, Justin's just a lot more comfortable now of in the system. His eyes are better. He processes a lot quicker. And now those plays where he was a step late, I think he's getting there two steps sooner. So I'm excited to see him play in the game situation. Terry, we mentioned that uh, you are fourth in the country last year in the uh, pass defense. When you looked at it, were you all as good as back there as that stat would I mean, it doesn't take a genius to realize, you know, that we were fourth in the nation in pass defense, but we were not real good in, in run defense. So I think part of uh, us improving as a total defense is we've got to be better against the run. And part of doing that is going to be, at, at times, committing the safeties a little bit more in the run game. So that's going to put those corners in a, you know, on the island a lot more. But we feel like we got some guys out there who can win. So, um, you know, although those stats from last year, they are what they are, but that was last year's team. And for us to get better, um, we have to do more to help our team. And so that might you know, change the scheme up a little bit and get those guys more involved in the run game. And I think all three of those guys sh have shown that they're not afraid of contact and getting down there and mixing it up a little bit. How could Armani get even better? Well, you know, I, like I told all three of those guys, you know, you want to become the complete play player. And I, like I told Armani, 120 some odd tackles, but pass coverage, eye control, um, not missing as many tackles. but. Uh, at the same time, I told him it's like being a home run hitter. Sometimes you strike out when you got that many at bat. So, um, but just continuing to develop the mental side of the game is going to make him that much better, and also make our defense better. You sense that with two cornerback positions trying to build, the competition pushes each other. That they're really embracing the competition. 
Yeah, and like I told him, you know, I, I love all of them, but at the end of the day, the best two corners are going to go out there to first play against UCLA. And so hopefully we have about four guys that we can play, maybe five, with no drop off. So that keeps everybody in the room on the edge of their seat because they know it's a day-to-day -day process. It's not we're naming a starter and we're going to stick with him. You know, it's going to be a day-to-day -day evaluation between me, Coach Chavis, and Coach Sumlin. And so that keeps guys in the mix. And so even the young guys are saying, well, hey, if the spots are open, I got a chance. And then when you see a guy like Brandon Williams who comes over in June and then doesn't really practice it to August, and you can see what happens to him, a lot of those guys believe in the system and believe that they can be the next guy. So it's exciting.